Yeah. So, so today's agenda for strategy creation is a is selling a straddle with re-entry. So where we will see that you know if you want to enter a strategy on straddle sell, where you sell a uh, one particular call and put option, and then after that, uh, uh, once a particular leg has uh, basically exited, then how to create uh, uh, basically how to uh, re-enter that position once the stop loss has hit. So I will just show you how to do that. Uh, one thing. Let me just show my uh, share my uh, screen. So I hope my screen is visible to all of you now. So right now, oh, uh, for example, in order to create a strategy, what we have to do is we have to go to this strategies down uh, tab. Over there, we will go to uh, create strategies tab. Uh, once we go to this particular page, we will see this particular uh, uh, strategy creation uh, landing page. So over here, you can just name your strategy. For example, I want to write straddle with re-entry, re-entry strategy, re-entry. And I'll just uh, uh, select any of the tags, so for example, theta, on theta, et cetera, or anything that you want. I can just write a description that, you know, straddle cell with re-entry, all right? So, and then I'll just click on uh, create this strategy first of all. Uh, every time you have you create a strategy, remember that all your, uh, what you have to do is you have to first save the strategy uh, constantly or else uh, some data that you uh, update uh, may not be properly saved. All right, uh, so I've already uh, started the recording, sir. No, not an issue, we will be putting this recording on, on YouTube channel. So that's not a worry. All right, and I'll be taking the questions only at the end, sir. So let me just complete the entire strategy creation and then we will answer your questions. All right, so first of all, we, as we just created the strategy name. So right now what we will do is the, the logic that we will follow is we will sell a straddle, ATM straddle at 925. And then after that, we will put 20% stop loss on each leg. And we will re-enter that particular strategy uh, into that particular leg when the price comes down to the same, uh, same price. So for example, if you have sold at 100 rupees, if you, it hits a stop loss of 120, and if the price comes back to again 100 rupees, you will re-enter into that position of short position. So that's a common query that we are getting these days. So we decided to create that strategy for you in front of you. All right, so first of all, what we will do is, in this case, we will require four different sets. All right, uh, two sets for call option and two sets for put option. So since this is the first set, what we will do is, first of all, I'll click, uh, click on add. So in this particular uh, this thing, uh, since uh, uh, once you open this window, what I will do is I will put, just put time condition. Time is greater than or equal to number 925. Always remember that this uh, time whenever you put, right? There should be no full stop or anything in between. It should be an actual number. So 925. We will add another condition that uh, of positions detail. So positions detail, what it does is it restricts the number of entries. So since this is the first uh, uh, entry, right? What we will we'll do is, well, first we will put entry, cell position, entry cell instrument type as call, uh, quantity, and Nifty Bank. Since we are trading in Nifty Bank options. Nifty Bank. So, we will create this particular proposition detail is equal to zero. So this is basically, it will take this particular entry of this set only once. So when we use uh, position detail is equal to zero, it will take entry only once in this call option. And then for re-entry, we will use another set. That's the reason why we are using position detail as uh, zero over here. Next is, we will also use the net quantity keyword. So net quantity, Traded instrument name. So what it does is net quantity will check how much is the open, how many positions are open of this particular instrument in the strategy. So it's net quantity trade instrument name Nifty Bank. Nifty. Nifty Bank. Set number one, leg number one, and uh, condition number one and leg number one. So a net quantity of traded instrument name is equal to say zero number 
So we want to basically enter only when the net quantity of a set number one, leg number one is zero. And also we will add one more condition that net quantity of two one one, which is basically the second set will be also zero. So we'll just put leg number, uh, set number two, right? Is equal to zero. So this is basically a simple entry condition. So this is the entry condition that we want to enter a particular a short call position at at 925. So this is the condition. Now what we will do is we will put a position for that. So basically I want to sell one ATM call option, right? So for that, what I will do is I will simply select sell. All right, or what I will do is uh, select exchange as NFO, sell call option, then Nifty Bank, Nifty Bank. I will uh, use an uh, MI since I want it to be an intraday strategy. Uh, the strike will be ATM and I want to trade in current quick option and I will select lots. Always remember that quantity, right? It's for stocks. Value is also basically based on the uh, value that you want to trade, but for FNO, it's ideal that you use lots only. So I will just want to sell, say, one lot of call option, then I will add that. So whenever this entry condition is met, we will uh, sell this particular call option. After that, what we will do is we will create an exit condition for this. So what we want is that whenever we sell this ATM call option, I want to exit the uh, the call option when it hits 20% stop loss, right? So what I will do is I will go to, uh, wait, one, let me just update this chart. Sir. So once we update it, right? Uh, you will find that since there is only one set, you will directly find universal exit. So what we will have to do is we will create additional sets. So once we create this additional set, we will find that there is a second set, third and fourth set. The total four sets we will create. So first set we have added as a, a call sale option. And in order to exit that particular uh, sold call option, what we will do is we will create a condition. So this condition is that, uh, first we will check whether this uh, strike is traded. So in order just traded instrument keyword, right? All by itself, what it does is it checks whether this particular strike has been traded. So underlying is Nifty Bank, set number one, leg number one and condition number one. So this will check whether this particular leg has been traded. So once it has traded, what we want to do is that, also we want to make sure that uh, when the 20 point stop loss is uh, hit, I want to exit this position. So what we will do is we will use uh, this particular formula LTP, whenever the LTP of traded instrument, that is the sold call option. So for that, we will reference it to entry instrument underlying as Nifty Bank. All right, Nifty Bank one, one, one. That is set number one, leg number one, condition number one. So whenever LTP of traded instrument, that is call option is greater than traded instrument price. So traded instrument, entry price of Nifty bank one, one, one plus number 20, because we want a 20 point stop loss, right? Number 20. So what it means is that whenever, I will just extend this once again. So over here, we entered based on the condition that whenever the time is uh, more than uh, 9.25 and there is no open position and basically no entry has happened. So position detail is equal to zero and the net quantity of this particular leg is also zero. That is this entry has not yet happened. Whenever all these conditions are true in and condition, then what I want to do is I want to sell first call option. All right, so once you have sold the call option in order to exit this traded position, so this is basically set number one, leg number one, and uh, uh, condition number one, right? So this is basically the leg number one. If you add one more leg like this, add like this, then what will happen is that it will be leg number two. It will get added over here. But position right now is just one. So after that, if you want to exit this particular leg, what you have done is we have put this exit condition for that call option, where we are first of all checking that, you know, traded instrument entry strike 111, that we are checking that this call has already entered, that we have sold the call option. And while after entering through this traded instrument, we are checking that you know the LTP, that is the current price of the traded instrument, that is leg number one, call, that is the call option, is greater than traded instrument entry price, all right? So current price is more than entry price by 20 points. So whenever we put the 20 points as a 
as as just uh, we want to put 20 point as stop loss we will create this particular formula and we will submit it so once this uh, this particular option uh, position is created this is basically uh, for the first leg that uh, we are selling the call option and we are putting 20% uh, stop loss for this particular leg and i will update this strategy now so this is the first part that is done like this we will have to create three more sets one is for second time re entry of call option and uh, other two sets will be for the put side so what we will do now is we will go to set number 2 so for set number 2 what we will do is now we will create uh, an entry condition for set number 2 over here also we will say put time as more than uh, greater than equal to number Nine twenty-five. We'll put additional condition where we are checking that you know what uh, traded instrument where we are checking that the set number one has already been traded before entering into set number two. Right? We want to check whether the set number one was already traded before. So, and uh, traded instrument strike Y T Nifty Bank set number one leg number one condition number one is equal to uh with your this condition will check whether the uh, set number one was already traded after that we will add uh, uh two more conditions so that is net quantity also we will check net quantity of traded instrument name y b a n k t by one 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 is equal to number i'm already recording this session so it will be available in youtube so later on also you can refer to it uh next also after checking this particular leg whether it's traded or not we will also check that the uh, net quantity of the second set also should be equal to zero so net quantity of two one one is equal to number zero. All right. So we check that you know set number one has also been uh, traded and equal to the trade. And then after that, over here, what we will do is we will put a condition of LTP. So LTP traded instrument name so LTP of traded instrument name of Y B A N K FT bank condition number one leg number one condition number one is equal to uh wait LTP of trade number one is less than Traded instrument price. I will just convert this to from strike to price because what we are checking over here is that the LTP of the first set that we entered, right? First call sold has again come down to entry price of 111. So basically, if you have sold the ATM option at say 100 rupees and then after that, the stop loss that we put in exit condition was 20 rupees. So after 120, if it comes down again to 100, that is basically the entry price. That is from LTP is less than 100, or well, that is lesser than 100, then automatically again this particular uh, call option will be sold. So with this, what we will do is we'll also add one more condition that is position detail. Position detail. Over here we will select entry. Sell position again, call again, quantity and instrument the uh, underlying instrument that is Nifty Bank is greater than equal to say if you want to re enter now. This is important, so just pay attention to this. So, uh, re enter suppose, uh, so when you want to enter only say 
one time, right? So we put uh, the condition as position detail. If you saw earlier, we put the condition as position details equal to zero. This is what we put in the initial uh, this thing, in the initial uh, set, first set, because you, there was no other position. That is the first time re-entry, entry. And then after that, when we want to re-enter, right? We want to make sure that you know it has already entered before. So what we will do is we will create this condition where we will say the position detail is greater than or equal to say minus twenty five. Because twenty five is the lot size of Nifty Bank, and it has already entered. That is minus one minus twenty five is basically one lot that was already entered in the first set. So if we want to enter again second time, then we are checking that already the position had entered and the quantity is now minus twenty five. Similarly, if you want to re-enter third time, then what you will have to do is instead of twenty five, you can convert this to fifty. All right. So if you want to enter total four times, then you can make this as seventy five. So according to that, it will take entry only four times. So first entry, when it is position details is equal to zero, it will be entered in the first set. Second time entry, uh, uh, third and fourth time. So since this is seventy five minus twenty five minus fifty and minus seventy five, so that means it will take total entries four times in this particular strategy. So that's how you can create a condition where you know if you want to re-enter again and again when the price moves to that particular uh, entry price. Then you will be able to enter into that strategy. All right. So right now, if I want to enter into say uh, this strategy, uh, suppose it's just three times. Then what I will do is I will just make this as fifty. All right. Position details is equal to fifty, and uh, I will just save this particular part. All right. So this is the re-entry condition that we created. So we will do a revision of this uh, after creating the entire strategies. So you will get, uh, you will understand the whole flow, and then after that, again, what I will do is I will create a. A position over here. So in position side, we will again create it as sell of position. So NFO call option MIS again current week lots right, as one and underline is Nifty. Nifty Bank and uh, again the current week and over here we will have to put a formula. Because what happens is that if there is a, a stop loss as hit and if the index starts moving, right, then the strike can be different, right. So if you don't want the strike to change, since it is the same strike that we want to trade in. So what I will do is I will create a create click on FX and in this FX we will put a formula that is traded instrument strike, traded instrument entry strike Y B A N K C Bank. One, one, one. So this is the formula that we have put. So what it will do is, it will basically whenever this condition is met, it will sell the call option. That is the same strike that we entered at nine twenty five. So it will not change the strike any time during the day whenever the market moves because we want to enter into the same call option. All right, wherever whichever was traded initially. So this is the second re-entry that we have done, and we will again exit this particular uh, uh, option. Uh, by creating an exit condition. So for that, I'll just first of all save this particular. Always remember that you have to say, uh, save this particular strategy uh, every time you put a condition because if if the internet goes off or any time if there is some issue that happens, then your the condition that you have put, you will have to do that again. So that's the reason why it's a good practice to basically uh, save the strategy every time. So now this is saved. So again, for this, what I will do is I will put the same exit condition that is. So what I will do is I'll just copy it from here and I will paste the same exit condition. So similarly, over here we are also checking the same thing that you know what traded instrument. In this case, it will be set number two because we are checking whether the set number two has been traded, and after that, whether the LTP is again has crossed the entry price plus uh, plus number twenty. So whenever uh, uh, so if we again had sold at say hundred rupees, right? Again, when the strategy goes up or the sell sold call option goes up by twenty points, we want to again sell that option. That is basically the stop loss. And that's what we want to continue doing doing during the day three or four times as per the position details that we have used. So I will just again save this. So this is basically the re-entry condition for call option is done. All right. So similarly, what we will do is we will create the same end uh, condition for put side. So re-entry condition for call side is done. Now we will add two more sets for put side. All right. So set number three. So in set number three, now what we will do is. 
so we don't have to do all of the uh, uh, formula creation again and again so since we have already created this in set number 1 right we will simply copy this over here and it will be very easy so i will just again paste it over here like this so in order to get this paste option always remember that you have to go to the bottom of the page and update the strategy that is when you will get to see the copy paste option all right so once you click on this what you have to do is you have to just click on edit so this the, most of the conditions will remain the same over here what we will do is position details now now this is for the third set as we discussed third and fourth set will be for the put side so i will change this from call till from to put so rest of the conditions are the same that you know what the position the put side uh, position should have not been taken uh, as of now and then after that i will change this uh, set to 3 and 4 because uh, we are checking only the put side over here so set number 1 uh, and 2 was for call so 3 and 4 will be for put so i will just make this as 3 okay and then this particular set will be set number 4 so this is basically the entry condition for our put side so once this put side entry condition is done similarly what we will do is we will put the position over here so position cannot be copied from top to bottom so we will have to always create this as manually all right so uh, over here what we will do is we will create a put short atm position all right and if put nifty uh bank again uh, intraday atm position in uh, put option so you can select any strike that you want uh, uh for now we will uh, select as atm quantity again as we discussed we will discuss uh, put in lots because that is better for fno and we will add so now this first time entry of put option is also done so again in order to exit this particular call option uh, put option with 20 points profit uh, profit uh, this thing right profit booking what we will do is we will create uh, again copy this exit condition from top i will just check this copy and i will put over here and we will simply modify it so over here what i will do is we want to check that the set number 3 that is for put option has been traded so i will change this to set number 3 that it was traded and then similarly simply we will change this to 311 because this is for the put option so which is in set number 3 so set number 3 is greater than entry price of again set number 3 leg number 1 condition number 1 is equal to uh, uh, set number 3 and plus number 20 so this is the exit condition that is done for this call option uh, for this put option for the first time entry after this again into in order to re enter into the put side whenever the price comes to the cost right so what we will do is we will just update this once so all the three sets are saved now after that we will move to set number 4 where what we will do is we will simply again copy set number 2 of uh, this thing first of all let me just create set number 4 so i will add a new set over here in set number 4 we will again go to set number 2 because that is for uh, re entry of call option right and we want this similar conditions for re entry of put option so i will just copy this set number 2 of call option and i will put it on the put side and we will modify it and i will put it over here and then we will click on edit over here most of the uh, cases will be the same what we want to change is this one traded instrument instead of 1 will be 3 because we are checking that the put option has got basically traded all right so put option in 311 was traded and also the trade net quantity we want to check only of the third set and the fourth set because third and fourth set are of the put side so third set net quantity is equal to 0 and also the fourth set net quantity should also be 0 before entering if it's already entered then it will not take enter uh, entry again because one position is open and also we want to basically re enter only when the ltp has come down to the cost of initial entry so over here i will change this to 311 so whenever the, the first initial entry of put option uh, uh, is suppose 100 and if it comes down goes to 120 hits the stop loss again comes back to 100 then we want to sell this particular call option again uh, sorry the put option again so what we will do is again create this as 311 and again in this case since we are selling a uh, put option what we will do is we will click on positions detail and we will select put instead of call and if the condition will be same because what we are checking is we are taking three times entry in put side also the first entry with position detail zero was on the third set and in the fourth set we are entering it two times more all right so total three times we are taking entry into this at the same price whenever the cost comes to this particular uh, price 
All right, so once this is done, uh, so this is basically the entry of the fourth, uh, the, the re-entry of the put side. And what we will do is we will uh, create a condition over here again. That over here, the we will sell the put option of the same strike. So as we did for call option, what we'll do is we'll select the put option, Nifty Bank MIS, Again, uh, over here, we will have to put a formula since the strike that need, needs to be traded the second time also should be the same one, which we uh, traded in the uh, in the third set, all right? That is the first entry of put option. So traded instrument, entry strike, Y bank, three, one, one. So the first initial entry, the strike that it took place, uh, that it took trading uh, during the initial trade is the one that we will be trading current with uh, lots as one, all right? So this particular part is also ready now. So this is basically for second and third time re-entry into put option, all right? And then after that, we will create an exit condition for put also. So similarly for call option as we have put, right? We, what we will do is we will just copy this particular exit condition and we will paste it over here. And we will simply make the modification that we are checking over here that traded instrument 311 has uh, this thing. And uh, also the same uh, put uh, uh, option will be there that, you know, whenever the particularly uh, the third set has already been traded. After that, if again, the LTP goes above uh, uh, about the entry price by 20 points, then we want to again uh, exit that particular position. So now this cycle will continue for three times and we can accordingly uh, just keep on uh, rolling this particular uh, trade uh, again and again during the day. And also we will put one universal exit condition so that this trades will continue happening till say, uh, th say three to three o'clock. And then after that at three o'clock, what I want to do is I want to exit all the positions. So trading, uh, what I will do is I will put time and you see, is greater than equal to number 15, all right? And also it's always one, one more thing that is important that I want to tell you over here is that uh, most of the times uh, uh, the clients, right? They don't check the uh, relationship between universal exit time and uh, this particular time. That is last condition check time. I will make this as continuous. So over here last, what happens is that if you put this as say 15, that is three o'clock. And if, you, if last condition check before exchange time is set to say 30 minutes, then what will happen is that this universal exit will not be triggered because this 30 minutes, what it means is that last condition check before market exchange close, it means that before exchange close as at 3.30, at three o'clock, it will stop checking the condition. So if your time is a uh, universal exit time, is say three o'clock or say three, uh, three two p.m., then in that case, this condition will not be triggered. Because at three three o'clock the condition will stop uh, the strategy will stop checking the conditions because of the condition that we have put over here that uh, at, after thirty minutes it will not check any condition all right and then after that if you want to re-enter into the strategy on a uh, on the next day right you can just put it as twelve hours so automatically at three o'clock it will exit and then after that uh, after twelve o'clock at three three o'clock in the night it will again be active and it will take the trades again the next day. So in order to, uh, over here, what I will do for now is I will change it to 15 minutes because at three o'clock, this strategy will exit. It will reactivate again after 12 hours only. But if you do this as uh, two minutes, then what will happen is that it will again activate at 3, 2 p.m. All right, because this is basically after universal exit. Whenever universal exit happens, if you uh, reactivate the strategy after two minutes, then it will again start taking the trade. So it's uh, in order to uh, avoid that, we will make this as a 12, uh, 12 hours. After that, we will change this to say 15 minutes because after three o'clock, whenever the universal exit happens, after that, after 15 minutes, that is at 3.15 only, it will stop checking condition. And then automatically the trades will happen only on the next day. So that is how we create the strategy on this particular parameter. So I will just now uh, revise this entire strategy that we created. So what we're doing is basically selling a straddle. So in set number one, we are selling the call option at say 9.25. And we are just checking that you know what there is no further uh, no other entry that has happened in the call option and the net quantity of first set as well as the second set that is for call option is zero. So whenever the net quantity is zero, that is no open position is there. 
only then it will take the trade and what we are doing over here is that we are selling this call option all right say atm call option and similar now comparing this with the third set so that is where basically it's similar to the initial call option that we have sold so we are checking whether that you know initial put option is also there are there is no open position of put option and position detail is also is equal to zero so that's the reason why we are selling this put option the first time so what it will do is it will first of all sell call option and at the same time through first first set and at the same time through third set it will sell the put option also and then in order to re enter into this call or uh, call option right so for example after entering to this call option we exited this call option after 20 points of stop loss so if it has entered say at 100 rupees uh, 111 and the current traded price is say 120 uh, entry price plus 20 that is 120 then it will exit the particular call option similarly we will also exit the put option with a stop loss of of stop loss of 20 points so this put option third 311 is also exited at a stop loss of 20 points so whenever this particular call option or put option is uh, exited after that in order to re enter into this call option so first set we entered into the call option in the second set we want to re enter into that same call option so what we will do is we are checking that you know 111 that is the first set was traded and again the net quantity of 111 and 211 is zero that means the net what it means is that when the net quantity is zero it means that it is automatically exited or is the net quantity will not equal, be equal to zero that's the reason why we are checking that the net quantity is zero and also we are checking that the current price that is ltp has come down the entry price has come, so entry price if it was say 100 rupees when we initially entered the call option if it has come down again to 100 rupees after hitting a stop loss at 120 then we are selling this again so that's the reason why we are checking this condition of entry price and then we are restricting the entry to just number of uh, to just three times so basically per lot is 25 right so first uh, uh, position detail is equal to 0 was for the first entry after that second time entry was minus 25 and since we want to take entry again that is the third time that's the reason why we are putting minus 50 so that is total three times entry it will take and you can modify this number any time or else if you remove this completely then it will keep on happening during the day again and again whereas if you want to take say trade four times you can change this to 75 or you can if you want to take trade five times you can change this to 100 um, minus 100 etc so you sub to you according to this you can uh, basically Uh, uh uh increase the number of times you want to re enter into this particular position so this is for the second time entry of the a uh, call option but we are also making sure over here as you can see that in the second set we have made sure that you know the the strike that it trades for example initially if the call sold was of 35500 if the index has moved to 35600 then we would don't want to sell the 35600 call option we want to sell the initial strike only that is 35500 that's the reason why we are putting the strike fx as uh, traded instrument 111 that is the initial strike that we used that is the same strike that we want to trade whenever the price comes to uh, the same uh, price of of 100 rupees right so that is when uh, it will re enter into the same call option and we have put the exit uh, exit uh, uh, call option at the same rate that you know whenever the the 20 point uh, stop loss hits it will start uh, again uh, hit the stop loss and it will re enter again when the price comes down to the cost price only so this loop will be continued over here and automatically it will take the trade three times and it will exit the trade in fact i traded this strategy uh, uh, in my own account also in paper trading so i will show you what has happened all right so in this uh, before that let me just show you this uh, fourth set also that fourth set is basically for put option where we are entering into the same criteria where the cost has come down to uh, say uh, the entry price in call option again we are checking whether the position detail that is basically it has already entered once and we are restricting the entry to only three times and then after that basically we have uh, uh, selected a strike as 311 because we want to trade and re enter into the same strike all right so once this is strategy is created and again we will put a 20 point stop loss and we will update the strategy so now i will show you what has happened during the day based on this strategy all right so this strategy that we created right so i will show you how this strategy actually functions so i will go to deployed page i will go to uh, this particular strategy that that is there uh, all different dynamic quantity so this is the same strategy right so i will show you what has happened so this is the call option right so call option today morning was sold at uh, 34700 as you can see so for 437 rupees it was sold and we had put a stop loss at 20% or uh, 20 points right 
she exited the position at 458 so as you can see again when this call option price came down to 437 rupees that is this particular uh, uh, entry price it again sold this call option and again exited the strategy uh, uh, this set uh, this call option at 458 rupees that is 20 points above that again after that when this this particular call price came down to uh, this particular rate 437 at 945 am it again entered into this particular short position and again sold at so, uh, position at 458 so as you can see this is the same condition that we created just now so it actually actually entered at the certain cost in the same strike it re entered again the second time and in the same strike it re entered again the third time so uh, this happened in the call side as well as this happened in the put side so over here as you can see this entry happened at 520 in, on the put side it got exited at 540 as a stop loss again it came down to 520 at uh, 930 again uh, it uh, uh, with 20 point stop loss it sold at particular position it exited at uh, 540 Again, when it came down, came down to the same entry price at 519, right? It again sold it off, and again squared it off at 540. So over here, as you, I will just show you the conditions that were that are there in this particular strategy. So over here, right? You will see that this is the exact same condition that we created just now, where we are selling the ATM call option at 925, all right, and again re-entering into that position whenever the price comes to that particular cost price. All right. Whenever the price comes to the cost price, and since we are using position details, it will automatically restrict the entry to only three times. All right. So you can create. This is the same strategy that we created just now over here, and you can use this particular format to basically uh, create this particular strategy. So that's how it is. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, then I can uh, answer that those questions now. If you have two repair one set condition set one. is it is should not be exactly how do you condition so repair once what the issue with repair once is that it uh, whenever you execute a repair once and if you want to re enter into that particular uh, option right then the repair once will not trigger again uh, the uh, again uh, uh, before the set exit happens so for example this is set number 1 and if you add a repair once condition over here then once the set entry happens it will enter into repair once and then after that compulsory that there needs to be a set exit or universal exit or else if the entry happens again into this uh, set number 1 the second time the repair will not trigger unless and until the set exit has happened so that's the reason why in this loop what we are doing is we are using only entry and exit with two different sets so basically that entire circle of entry and exit gets completed and automatically it will take the trades into that strategy all right so that's how it works so for repair once if you want to enter only once you can do that but uh, that is a, a, a different strategy case scenario So it's like that. By when, uh, sir? Right now we cannot. Uh, basically, we can. Uh, so for EMA, right? By when close about EMA. So for EMA, there is a. So this is a YouTube channel, right? So trader on YouTube channel. You can just simply type over here EMA strategy. So like this webinar that we are conducting right now, you will be able to uh, watch a video say start create strategy in EMA. So you can call watch this particular video. and you will be able to understand how to create a strategy at the same time if you get stuck in the keywords or anything right so we have this keyword documentation at the bottom so at the bottom of the strategy right uh, of of our website you will find this keyword documentation so in this keyword documentation over here you will find all the keywords that how to use them etc so as since you uh, inquired about ema right i will just search ema all right so this is demo this is ema so for example how to use this ema keyword in order to create a strategy this particular formula is what you have to use according to this you can watch this video and create your own strategy if you get stuck also somewhere so our chat support is available from uh, 9 o'clock in the morning till 12 o'clock in the night you can ask us on on chat by sharing uh, this particular image because we do not have access to this strategies because it's a personal private property right so no one needs to know your logic and no one can copy your logic So whenever uh, uh, support asks you for a particular uh, condition check, then you have to send this image. So based on this image, they will check the conditions and they will guide you whether your strategy is proper or not. So I want to create strategy in which credit is paid. So yeah, so you basically you can just write to support sir, support at the rate retron dot tech with your conditions and according to that you can get the strategy custom coded also from us. So you can either watch the videos or you can create the strategy based on the parameters that are there. so you can write to us on this support uh, create a ticket so basically you can just write your query on this uh, support 
and then if within 24 hours we will be able to address the questions that you may have or else you can also have a call support also so over here you can call on this number uh, on this particular number from 9 am to 5 pm and then uh, uh, our call team that is there in mumbai they will be able to help you with your strategy also uh, is there any yes so for custom coding yes so if you watch this videos and if you use this keyword documentation and create the strategy with help of support and if it can be coded with this just simple strategy creation platform then it uh, it will not be charged but if there is a full strategy that needs to be created from trader then you will have to basically yes then there will be charges for that so there is a strategy creation charges created all right okay all right thank you everyone yeah bye Are you sure you like this?